Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Let's Taste with the Intrepid Wino. My name is James Scaresbrook. Uh, I'm, I'm very glad to uh, be looking at a range of wines um, that have been submitted to me from Heartland Wines based in the Langhorn Creek in South Australia. Ben Glatzer is the winemaker. Uh, the Glatzer name uh, is synonymous with quality winemaking in Australia. And uh, I'm thrilled to um, have a look at wines that I haven't seen before from their range and uh, I'm fairly certain that I haven't seen this one um, going to taste on this edition which is the Heartland One 2015 Vintage. It is a Cabernet Sauvignon Shiraz blend, um, I, again I assume from the 100% um, from the Langhorn Creek. Recommended retail price for this one is $79 Australian. So. Um, this is uh, this is one of the big guys. This is um, certainly compared to a number of other wines I've seen uh, and, and tasted on this uh, on this channel before. Um, this is going to be a big step up. So um, Cabernet Shiraz, to a certain extent, is um, the Australian equivalent. In a lot of cases, the Australian equivalent of the Cabernet Merlot blend. Um, and uh, and so I'm excited to see what this one has to offer. Uh, milky, milky. Sorry about that. Come on. Good girl. You want to join me? For those who haven't met her, this is Milky. Okay. Lovely colour. Certainly uh, is showing more of the Cabernet. Uh, with the colour. Notice kind of um, dark and inky Shiraz, certainly Australian Shiraz tends to be. It, it's very classic varietal Cabernet Shiraz aromatics. But very complex, very subtle, um, very subdued. It's not just fruit, there's some herb, herb notes, there's some very subtle wood notes, but not in that kind of caraby vanilla kind of note, it's more, yeah, it's more sort of, I don't know, sort of nutmeggy, um, dried florals. Very supple, very subtle. Let's taste. It's an incredibly generous wine. And generous in that there's sort of lots of everything but also generous that it's very giving. Um, it sort of has this way of coming and going on the palate. Um, it sort of weaves in and out. Certainly in this case, like the Cabernet is, um, it's very prominent, but it's also not overt. It's quite restrained. Um, again, it does have that very subtle kind of minty character which I don't actually mind because um, you know mint is not necessarily for me an underripeness. Um, it has this kind of sort of lavender character to it. Very like soft but persistent tannins as well. There's good depth to it. Uh, this is a really amazing wine. Um, it is tough at $79. Um, I think it is worth it, but there's a lot of really good wine at that price point. So uh, in, in, in many cases, it is going to come down to personal preference. I'd be extremely happy to drink this wine. That being said, I probably might be more adventurous or possibly go to wines that I know that I'm going to be more interested in, I guess. Um, so if you like really, really well made, really subtle and 
honest Australian red, classic Australian red that definitely speaks of where it comes from. Uh, I would highly recommend this. Uh, it is certainly a wine that you could put down for about 10 years um, if you um, have the patience and the uh, storage conditions, of course. Um, no, this is, a, this is a lovely wine, really good. And, uh, and it is nice to see a wine of this caliber from the Heartland. So thank you, of course, to um, the team at Heartland for very, very generously donating me this sample. Uh, I really do appreciate the opportunity, particularly to look at something um, so premium and so special. Um, if you'd like to submit some samples to Let's Taste, please do get in contact with me. You can do that via my website, intrepidwino.com. Uh, there's lots of um, other information and, uh, and content there. I do highly, highly recommend checking it out, uh, particularly on my podcast, The Vincast. Um, I'd love for you to follow me on social media at Intrepid Wino on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, and if you're watching this video on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button to, to see more videos like this. And if you're watching on Facebook, hit the like button for my page so you can follow that. Uh, please do like this video, share it on social media, and leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. But until next time, cheers. Thank <music> you.